continuing to see again uh, downside on the NSC20. What's informing that? Um, it's the Safaricom effect. It's beginning to show now. The local investors have been um, supplying the market heavily with Safaricom uh, shares. Obviously, that um, any effect on the Safaricom share will have an effect on both indexes, and that is what we are seeing right now. Um, we're still seeing foreign investors interested in buying the stock, but um, we are yet to see the effect of Safaricom's reaction to the price um, changes by their, their, their competitors, but we have seen local investors feeling that the right. stock is a bit risky for them at the moment. Okay, let's just talk about that stock. We know that it accounts for about 50% of shares traded on average per day. How has that stock performed? Because beginning of the week, we saw losses for Safaricom. By the end of yesterday, they'd made a few more gains after they'd announced that they were going to be halving uh, their tariffs. Uh, today, how are things looking? Because we see Telcom Kenya coming onto the fray and also taking a position on the pricing. Well, it hit four shillings in uh, 85 today, which was... Uh, which means it's it's actually heading down at the moment. We did see it recover a little bit towards the end of the day, towards the five shilling mark, but we are seeing oversupply at the moment, and that is p putting a lot of downward pressure on the stock. Of course, um, the issue now is watching what is going to play out uh, on the general uh, telecoms and, and the general mobile telephony market and what all the players mm -hmm. are going to do before investors take any new positions on Safaricom. But really right now what we're seeing is the local investors selling heavily on Safaricom. All right, before we move on to other counters, let's talk about volumes traded today. Yesterday it had slowed to about 31 million shares. What's the picture today? Well, uh, today we are looking at uh, Safaricom. The commercial and services sector did about 70.36%, uh, and that was Safaricom moved about 23 million shares. And so that was actually the biggest mover today. We did see um, other shares like, uh, like Access Kenya also moving about 106,000 shares. Right. But mainly that was in the Safaricom is the one that did the most because we saw about 35 million shares moved and so that means that uh, generally it is Safaricom that is moving the market at the moment. All right now a stock to watch out for in the coming days East African Breweries Limited. Tomorrow they'll be releasing results. What are market expectations? Well the expectations are actually in line with what we've been seeing double digit growth figures. Uh, we are expecting uh, EABL to have felt um, you know, felt seen a better time over the last half of the year. And uh, we, we do think that they'll be announcing some sort of dividend. Most companies are doing that now in order to sort of signal investors that things are back to the good times and we're back in a bullish period. But going forward, what are the sort of challenges that uh, EABL is facing? Because we know that uh, SAB Miller has uh, big expansion plans in southern Sudan as that area of Sudan comes to the fore. Uh, EABL also wanting to enter that market as well as others within East Africa. So real threats to its market share. Do you think that going forward uh, we could see some changing dynamics within the brewers? Well, I still think that EABL has a lot of muscle in East and Central Africa and the region as a whole. And I believe that um, apart from Tanzania where they have had a, a bit of a shaky period over the last few years and we have seen them now go strongly in there by buying Serengeti, I believe they are better positioned to take the Sudan market than I think ACB Mela is. And I think that is going to show investors will probably be more confident in EABL taking that market and getting a stronghold mm. in that market, seeing that they know the dynamics of this, uh, the local market, they know the dynamics of the region, and they're quite strong in both Kenya, Uganda, and Rwanda. And so right. hopefully that is going to be the case. In All right, let's talk about CFC Life Insurance Holdings. They may soon be part of the Liberty Holdings stable. We know that that's the insurer arm of uh, South Africa's Standard Bank. Is it creating buzz in the market? Well, not yet. Usually um, news such news will take a few days to actually uh, reflect on the actual um, 
stock here and I think uh, we could be watching it next week to see what sort of uh, differences mm -hmm. or what sort of effect it does have but so far we are yet to see any effect.